For years, the aerospace world could only wonder what lay inside SpaceX's Star Factory, glimpsing it through windows or distant shots while its true scale remained hidden. That mystery ended when Elon Musk released a video revealing the vast Starship fleet within, an extraordinary sight that redefines ambition. Today, on Great SpaceX, we explore this remarkable view inside the Star Factory. The interior of SpaceX's Star Factory has long been one of the most guarded mysteries of the Starship program. For years, both the aerospace industry and the public have speculated about what goes on inside, relying on only fleeting glimpses through windows or rare exterior shots. The most revealing look until recently came during Elon Musk's interview with Everyday Astronaut, when the facility was still in its infancy. At that time, viewers saw only a lone nose cone and a few non-operational production lines. The full scale of operations remained hidden, leaving curiosity to build. That curiosity was finally rewarded when Musk released a short video just days ago. Though only 41 seconds long and showing just one corner of the vast facility, the clip was enough to astonish the world. Soon after, SpaceX added to the excitement by sharing even closer footage of hardware inside the Star Factory during the livestream of Starship's second launch attempt on the 25th of August. For the second time, the curtain was lifted, offering a real sense of the industrial power behind Starship's production. The footage revealed details that spoke volumes about scale and capability. Rows of nose cones appeared at both the start and end of the video, the clearest evidence yet of just how many vehicles SpaceX is producing in parallel. By observation, at least seven nose cones were visible, four nearly complete, one being stacked, and another that may or may not have been a nose cone, but bore its distinct shape. The nearest one appeared to be under assembly against a short wall. This single angle confirmed hardware readiness for Starship's S-46 through 50, and likely beyond. Another perspective in the video highlighted stainless stainless steel sections along production line, no fewer than 15 segments already welded and awaiting further processing. That number alone suggests SpaceX has the pieces to build multiple super heavy boosters and Starship upper stages without delay. Nearby, smaller spherical tanks, truncated cones, and large domes could be seen most likely header tanks and fuel tank domes essential to Starship's structure. The sheer variety of components in view underscored a crucial point. The Star Factory is not producing isolated parts, but entire suites of hardware ready to flow directly into vehicle assembly. Much of the hardware on display appears tied to the Starship V3 design. With Ship 38 set to conclude the VT, 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 V2 series, production is already pivoting toward the next generation. S39, fitted with forward flaps and heat shield, and recently stacked with its payload section, marks the true beginning of V3. This transition signals not only refinement, but acceleration. Where once there were doubts about SpaceX's ability to keep pace with hardware demand, the challenge now is whether the assembly bay itself can keep up with the flood of parts streaming in from the Star Factory. The facility's impact lies not just in scale, but in its advanced technology. Inside the Star Factory is bright, orderly, and strikingly modern, reflecting precision as much as size. It houses world-class equipment for bending, stamping, polishing, and welding stainless steel. Among the most notable techniques is tip-tig welding, a laser-assisted process that produces cleaner, stronger seams. The difference is visible in the nose cones. Early prototypes bore rough, obvious welds, but today's versions show seams so smooth they are nearly invisible. This is not simply aesthetic refinement, it ensures durability and reliability for spacecraft designed to endure extreme conditions. The Star Factory also embodies a distinct production philosophy. Inspired by Tesla's automotive assembly methods, SpaceX has implemented a linear production line designed around specialization. Each station focuses on one task or component, enabling machines and workers to operate with efficiency and precision. This approach eliminates bottlenecks, keeping the entire process in constant motion. The result is speed, a synchronized rhythm of production that accelerates output to levels unmatched in aerospace that accelerates output to levels unmatched in aerospace. Nope. That accelerates output to levels unmatched in aerospace. What emerges from these brief glimpses is a new understanding of SpaceX's industrial might. The Star Factory is no longer a mystery. It is a clear symbol of the future of Starship. Within those walls lies the engine of routine production for the world's most powerful rocket, a factory designed not just for prototypes, but for fleets. 
And if 41 seconds of video can reveal this much, the full scope of the facility, once fully unveiled, will likely redefine what is possible in space manufacturing. The quality factor is also significantly improved with the Star Factory system. When each station only focuses on one specific task, any issues that arise can be quickly identified and addressed. If a defect occurs, the monitoring system can immediately pinpoint the exact station where it originated. This streamlined process saves a great deal of time and effort, ensuring higher reliability in production. Another advantage is the structure of the Star Factory itself. Unlike the earlier production tents, which required parts and workers to constantly move between separate facilities, the new factory consolidates operations under one roof. Musk often refers to this as a true building rather than a temporary tent system. By bringing every step of production into one enclosed space, operations flow seamlessly, without interruptions caused by movement or environmental conditions. Additionally, the closed environment shields the production line from weather factors such as wind, rain, or extreme temperatures, all of which previously disrupted work at Starbase. It is worth noting that the Star Factory is not yet operating at its full capacity. SpaceX is still in the process of gradually ramping up up. Full production capability may come into effect later this year or early next year. When that happens, the scale of Starship development will accelerate dramatically. Based on current progress, it's reasonable to expect that SpaceX could build and even test at least two to three Starship V3 prototypes before the year ends. Among these, one pair of V3 vehicles, S-39 and B-18, are expected to fly together on Flight 12. Next year, this pace is set to increase even further. This preparation will be essential for what SpaceX envisions as an explosive phase in 2026. Internal plans have suggested the goal of up to 25 launches in a single year. Proposals for 44 annual launches from Launch Complex 39A and 76 from Space Launch Complex 37 have been discussed. During the optimal Mars transfer windows, SpaceX even anticipates up to 10 flights per day. In fact, Musk recently hinted that the company could reach a turnaround rate of more than 20 24 flights per day. That would mean daily launches of Starship and potentially hourly launches for Super Heavy. Such ambitious goals require not only speed but also a massive number of prototypes. Starship continues to evolve. While V3 is the most refined yet, Musk has already outlined V4. Longer, more powerful, with added engines and aiming for flights in 2027. Supporting this vision re requires the Star Factory, with similar facilities likely to expand beyond Starbase, possibly to Florida. Over time, more factories will be needed to match Musk's ambitions. And seeing the systems now revealed inside, one can only say, wow, the future here is unlike anything seen before. But remember that the development of Starship does not come only from the Star Factory. It also relies on a wide series of interconnected systems that must evolve together in order to sustain progress. At the production site, for instance, there is already a need for new structures. In the near future, the existing bays will no longer be sufficient to handle the stacking of the growing number of starships. This challenge will only become greater as the rocket itself increases in size. Musk has already unveiled the next iteration, Starship V4, which will feature more engines and larger dimensions than the current versions. In order to accommodate the scale, the bay structures themselves must continue to expand. Right now, the production site at Starbase is in the middle of a major transition. Earlier this year, the original high bay was demolished to make way for a much larger structure, both taller and wider known as Gigabay. According to information revealed so far, Gigabay will have the ability to simultaneously house many Super Heavy Boosters and Starship prototypes. Inside, there will be between 10 to 20 work platforms equipped with advanced technology to support every stage of assembly. This includes stacking, inspections, installations, and even refurbishments. Construction on Gigabay has already begun at Starbase, and SpaceX also intends to build another Gigabay in Florida. With facilities of this scale, the pace of work established by the Star Factory can be maintained and accelerated, ensuring that SpaceX has the number of prototypes it needs for the missions ahead. When production becomes this robust, the systems that follow naturally need to be just as strong. The next step is the test system. For many years, testing has received less public attention compared to the production facilities or the launch pads. However, moving forward, the importance of the test system cannot be overstated. In fact, the focus on testing increased dramatically this 
year after a major setback occurred during the S-36 test failure. That incident caused serious damage and forced SpaceX to pause operations while the site was repaired. It was during this period that SpaceX began reinforcing the testing infrastructure with upgrades such as the installation of the V-3 booster QD. Still, in order to support continuous operations, the testing system will need to grow beyond its current limits at the Massey area. By expanding into additional test sites, SpaceX can maintain a consistent testing cadence and avoid complete interruptions if one site suffers damage. This redundancy will be critical in supporting rapid iteration and keeping development timelines intact. Similar to test systems, the launch system also requires significant upgrades and expansions. At present, SpaceX has two orbital launch pads at Starbase. Pad 1 is operational, and Pad 2 is nearly ready to come online. Pad 2 has been designed as a model for the future, incorporating lessons from previous flights. Once Pad 2 begins operations, Pad 1 will also undergo modifications to bring it up to the same standard. This model has already started to influence pad LC-39A in Florida, where similar upgrades are underway. Beyond upgrades, the total number of launch pads must also increase. While LC-39A is limited in how much it can expand, both Starbase and SLC-37 in Florida have greater potential. Plans for SLC-37 currently envision at least a two-pad system, while Starbase is expected to grow beyond its current pair of pads once land acquisition allows. More pads will mean more frequent launches, which is essential if SpaceX is to achieve its ambitious targets. Additionally, extra pads will support Starship's landing and reuse, a capability that sets it apart that sets it apart from other rockets and remains central to Musk's long-term vision. Taken together, these developments allow us to imagine an extraordinary future for Starship. While the future always carries uncertainty, the massive fleet of vehicles already visible inside the Star Factory is proof of how far the program has come. The Star Factory is only the beginning of a much larger process. SpaceX will continue to expand every system from production to testing to launch in order to optimize the operations of its Starship fleet. Progress has been steady, progress is ongoing, and progress will continue at a relentless pace. For those following this journey, the message is simple. Stay focused, because the most important moments are still to come. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.